If you've ever wondered why the GoPro footage when you have your setup something like this on your helmet doesn't look near as cool as it feels, I'm gonna show you what to do on your motorcycle to get much better footage than using a setup like this. So here's the basic gist of the uh, setup here. It's pretty simple. You just have to get a ball head down here, a double socket uh, ball head, and then this is also another ball head, but it has an attachment specifically for the GoPro uh, style mount. And then um, the cool part is it's all pretty adjustable, so you can you know, change it higher, lower, however you need to, and just kind of get it to the, the field of view that you like. But yeah, so with R3, they, this company makes um, mounts for these, for these gas tanks. They just don't make it for the R3. So um, I'm gonna show you how to put this one together with just um, these parts, and then you just gotta get some stuff from the hardware store. Um, and that'll work perfectly on the R3. If you have a bigger bike, you don't have to worry about it. You can actually just buy a gas tank mount down here. I'll have that part listed in the description below. Uh, but yeah, this is the basic setup. It doesn't really get in the way at all. If you're street riding, uh, maybe if you're track riding, you probably need to remove this because um, you might hit it if you're leaning on the tank quite a bit. Uh, but overall, it stays out of the way and even the gas tank opens just fine with it. All right, so here's everything you're gonna need. It might look like a whole lot, but really it's only three main pieces from the Ram Mounts company, and then just some hardware that I picked up at my local hardware store. So the most important, or the most important pieces is gonna be um, this one. This is called the double socket arm. So you're just gonna need that. And then you will need this ball head. And this one comes with some bigger screws or bolts, but you're not gonna be using those ones. And then you are gonna need this part. This is gonna be the part for the GoPro, which is another ball head. Um, and then it just has that attachment to screw in the GoPro, the standard screws there. You'll need this type of screw. Now this screw is in M5.8 by 55 millimeter. You need just one of these screws. Mine's a two pack, it's only about a dollar for those. And then you just need some washers in the M6 size. So aside from that, you will need the tool as well. This is just a four millimeter Allen. So you'll need all that stuff. And then I'm gonna show you over on the motorcycle how to put it all together. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is just taking out this little screw here. It's gonna be on the top side of your gas tank. And it's that with that four millimeter Allen screw. So you just loosen that up. And then of course you're gonna to wanna to save that for later just in case you ever wanna go back to the original setup or take off the uh, GoPro if you're going on a track or something like that. And the next thing you wanna do is take that 55 millimeter bolt. So just grab that and then you're gonna to wanna to put that washer over it. So just slide that on and then grab the ball head, just this one, not the one for the GoPro end. And then you're just gonna slide the screw through there and then just basically retighten it back down. So set it here. Now this is, uh, this is going on some pretty soft aluminum right here. So you don't need to tighten it too much. And if you'll notice when you take these off or tighten them down, they're not tightened very much from the factory anyway. So just give it enough to where it's pretty snug. And you could even line this up a little bit better too if you want and move a little bit around there. So it should look something like that. Okay, and then you'll just wanna grab the double socket part as well as the GoPro mount and just pop that in there. You may have to loosen this up if it's all tight and pop that on here. Now, something to note, you do wanna have this, uh, the handle in either the left or right side, because if you don't, if you have it like this, the gas tank won't open. And that's even in the situation with this. So you do have to do either one of those sides and then just tighten it up. When you get it all pretty much lined up how you want, you can adjust this pretty easily later. So it's not too hard to change if you need to. Need to. So it's easy if, if you just look straight down the bike. And these ball heads actually have a nice little line going on them too, so it's kind of easy to see if everything's pretty straight. So once you get that about where you want it, you can tighten that up. And from here, you just put on the GoPro. So you just mount it in there and then use your uh, regular GoPro screw thing. Get it all aligned. And then you just kind of want to screw it to whatever you prefer. So the cool part is, if you prefer more of the cockpit view, you can obviously tilt it down more, but if you prefer more of the road, um, you can just tilt it back. So there's a lot of adjustment here. You can adjust both the GoPro and then you can adjust these ball heads kind of a little bit. The only thing I would say to make sure of is that you can still open up your gas tank. So you might just double check that while you're working on a bunch of different locations here. So just make sure it clears it, but it has this cutout that's almost like perfectly made for it. So it works out great. So I'm gonna keep mine for there for now. That's pretty much it. So there you have it for about 40 bucks, guys. You can completely change the way your GoPro footage looks when you're riding your motorcycle. And it looks so much better from this point of view, in my opinion. And I think you probably think the same Same if you've seen both videos. And this uh, not only applies to the R3, but if you do have a bigger bike, if you have like a 600 or a liter bike or something like that, you can actually buy from the same company an actual gas tank mount 
they just don't make it for the R3, so I had to make something custom like this. So you can basically use the same setup, same parts, all this stuff, you just need to change the bottom part to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed that tip to make your footage look a whole lot better. I have a whole lot more videos coming on this, so I'll see you guys on the next one.